OpenAI just introduced and released plugins for ChatGPT. And this basically gives you ton of new tools and ton of different capabilities for ChatGPT you're gonna find. In this video, we are going to take a look at some of these plugins and I'm going to give you my thoughts and my feedback. If these are great plugins to use, if you know this might be more pie in the sky thinking. Now, one thing that you have to be aware of in order to use these plugins, you must be on the premium version or the pro version, which is $20 per month. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. And if you want to be added to this globe, simply reply or comment down below with your city, state, province, country, and I'll get you pinned. So we're going to take a look at this video and I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on these different plugins that I'm actually really excited about. So first log in to your ChatGPT accounts. If you don't have the plus version of ChatGPT, you do need this for plugins. Now, I do think that the ChatGPT Plus is worth it. I did a video maybe a month or two ago comparing the pros and the cons. I do like the, the ChatGPT 4 versus the 3.5. I do hate that it's limited to 25 messages per month because it can take a few questions and comments and conversations going back and forth in order to get it dialed in. But then once you finally get it dialed in, you're limited to maybe 20 messages. And depending on what you're doing, that can limit how far you can go with it. ChatGPT 3.5 free plan is okay, but I do think that the, the four version is, is better and it's actually more, more worth it. Now to activate them, come down here and click the three dots and then go to settings. And here, if you go to the beta. I first heard about all of these different features maybe a week or two ago over on TikTok. And when every time I checked, I didn't have access. I recently just got access to one of the features where you could connect ChatGPT to the internet. And then maybe a day or two later, I got access to these plugins. So if you are on the pro version and you don't see it, they're rolling it out slowly. I don't know if they're rolling it out in order of people purchasing or upgrading to the pro level. Just know that if you don't have it just yet, you are getting it. It will come soon, maybe within the next week or two. So this is gonna activate it. Then right here, if I'm on 3.5, this is the free version of it that I could also use as a plus member, but I won't see any plugins. You see, there's no plugins. This one has this little icon for plugins. And if I go down here, you see plugins in beta is checked on. Okay, so I checked. So his is actually different from mine because I have both the plugins and I have the ability to browse the internet. So yours is probably gonna look a little bit different than mine or, or maybe his. Don't be, scared or afraid or whatever just um just jump right in the worst thing that this plugin or or the worst thing that this platform could say is no and then you just have to rephrase the question ask it better and then you'll get a better output and then it says plugins basically connect chat gpt to external apps i'll show you some examples and chat gpt automatically chooses when so the cool thing about plugins is we use plugins every single day this isn't something that is new um, you can think of plugins if you use google chrome last saturday i did a video talking about how to screen record your desktop to make youtube videos the place that i had you go are basically plugins or extensions we use them all day every day this isn't something brand new or revolutionary it's just chat gpt has now enabled this option for for their their community now by default nothing will be here you have to go to the plugin store and add them when i looked in the plugin store there's like 12 pages and quite frankly it got a little overwhelming for me so i backed out so i'm going to be looking for these types of videos to help me figure out which ones i should use and why i should use them like i said i opened this up saw there's 12 pages each page has maybe like 10 or 12 different plugins and I, and I noped out of it. So this video is gonna help me out. Hopefully I'll certainly be looking through other videos like this to try and find the best plugins. Now three could be enabled at any time, but you could turn them off and add new ones to test them out. There are a ton of different plugins. Inside of the plugin store, you could- So as you can see, there are two, four, six, eight. There are eight plugins that show up but then there's eight pages. So if we just did the math, what is that 64 plugins that you'd have to kind of comb through and read and figure out if you want to enable it. The other thing that I'd be interested to know is will the plugin slow down the response time for ChatGPT? Quite frankly, if you use WordPress, you know that you shouldn't have a bunch of plugins on your WordPress website. The more plugins you have, the slower it will respond. And so I'm wondering if that's gonna be something similar. That might be a test that we could run later on, but these are all things that you wanna think about when it comes to creating content 
and you know just downloading random stuff but one of my favorite options here is most popular so you can see what the most popular plugins are right now as you're watching the video and right now these are the top eight most so as a marketer i'm just looking at this i probably would not be interested in kayak or expedia or instacart or even open table um hopefully as this gets more widely adapted we have more plugins for us marketers and plus and us people that are trying to build an online business so this one gives you access to some real-time information okay i'll show you what that is but this is super super useful it's a little bit like getting access to the internet something chat gpt doesn't have yet i still don't have my version of ChatGPT actually has access to the internet. That's why I said yours might be a little bit different if depending on when you joined, when you when you signed up. So, you know, it's it's one of those things where because they're testing and rolling things out slowly, some users will have access to some stuff while others will not. Now, I'm going to ask it what's the date today to make sure it knows that as well, right? It wouldn't know this otherwise. But now he knows exactly what the date is. Okay, that's pretty cool. One of the frustrating things with ChatGPT was it would tell you all the time, hey, I only have knowledge up until uh, 2021, September 2021. But if I can get information today, like if I can plug in the uh, what what was the score from last night's basketball game, and it actually gives me real information, which I may do after this video. Now, now we're now we're getting somewhere. Before it was kind of limited, and you you kind of had to have up to date knowledge and information. But if I could write, let's say, a, an article on last night's basketball score, which I believe the Miami Heat won, that kind of changes the game. So this could be pretty cool. Now, what I could do next is I'm going to use the other plugin. I'm going to say, book me a flight from Chicago to L.A. Okay, I'll press enter. And it's going to probably ask me some follow up questions because I didn't give it enough information. But he will try to use kayak right here. So it says, when is your departure? So I guess I wouldn't understand the point of using kayak or ChatGPT in general to do this, unless I could say, find the cheapest airfare to fly from Chicago to LA for May 15th through whatever. If I could do that with ChatGPT, that would be a game changer. But if I still have to download the plugin kayak in order to use it, I don't know that, that that's gonna be that Big of a deal. Um, I think it might be a, a cool plugin just to kind of see, but I don't know how beneficial or useful that would be. So I'm gonna say it's 5:30, and he found a flight just for me on 5:30. Sometimes he asks me if I want a round trip flight. If other people are flying with me, you could give it that information again to make your search more complete. But as you could see in text format, he gave me the price for nonstop flights here, and it's gonna tell me exactly when a flight is leaving, when it's returning. And then it's gonna give me an exact link here that I could click right here. That's kind of cool, it gives you an exact link, but we don't know that Kayak has the best deal. So I'd be looking for something that is going to help us with the best deal. And so maybe that's something that that ChatGPT could come up with later is find the best deal. And if you can find the best deal, you can tell me where the best value is. That's gonna be a lot better for me because I still gotta do some hunting. I'm gonna have to go over to booking.com and Travelocity and all those other places to make sure that $75 would be the best deal. That flight through this plugin, this kayak plugin, and a bunch of their plugins do these kind of things. They basically do all the research for you from these platforms. I wonder, could you, let's say they have a kayak plugin and a booking.com plugin, for example. Could you ask the same question, book me a flight from Chicago to Los Angeles, and it runs both plugins at the same time to find the best deal, or at least tells us the answer from both plugins. Again, hopefully that's something that would either be available or come down the pipe later on. But you know, overall, I think this is cool. This is a new way to go with ChatGPT. I think it would be good in limited use cases, for example, like that Instacart stuff that we're talking about. This is something to keep an eye on and hopefully that the further future iterations make things easier. But like I said, I, I'm gonna test this out to see if I can get the recent score of the basketball game and see if we can, can kind of write an article based on that. All right, so as you can see on mine, I have default browsing, which is in beta. He didn't have that and I have plugins. So I'm gonna go to plugins and I don't have any in enabled. I'm gonna to go to the plugin store. As you can see, there are all sorts of plugins here, which can be overwhelming and you can't search for plugins. So that's kind of uh, bothersome as well. So we've got the ones that he mentioned for popular. Let's go to new, um, let's see, he had 
Wolfframe Alpha. So uh, I'm going to install this one, and then I'm just going to ask what was the score of last night's basketball game, and let's see if if it comes up if it if it actually has the right answer. All right. So what was the score of last night's basketball game? And just to confirm this, we're going to go to ESPN.com, and we're going to see that the score of last night's game was 111-105. Okay. So let's see. If we hit enter, it's still very limited to 2021, as we can see here. Maybe there's a newer plugin. Actually, let's go back over to, let's do new chat, go to ChatGPT4, let's browse the internet, and we're gonna ask the same question. All right, so I asked the same question, what was the score of last night's basketball game? I spelled basketball wrong, but that's okay. If we look over here, once again, 111, 105. This should be relatively easy if it is able to Okay, so NBA basketball game score, May 19, 2023, browsing the internet. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to ask it to kind of write a blog outline for the, the game. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm currently experiencing difficulties accessing real-time information. Where we can find the scores. Uh, so that's uh, that's an annoying for a YouTube video. Let's try that one more time. I'm going to refresh this. I'm going to input that one more time. And if it gives us the right information, we can ask for an outline. That would be the next step. And then we could take this outline and make a YouTube video. We could do a podcast episode from it. You could try and write a blog post, but I think it's going to be kind of competitive. Okay, so good. Miami Heat versus Boston. And it even gave us a score from last night and it actually cited its source. So we're going to say like, uh, write, write an outline for a podcast based on last night's basketball game. Let's see how well it does here. Now, this is kind of that next level. Um, I'm, we're asking it to go back to the internet, analyze the information that it's getting, and then giving us a response. I don't know that ChatGPT is going to be able to do this. If it can, it would actually make content creation much, much easier, especially real-time content creation, because we can ask it to go on the internet and and find recent topics. And, and that might be the next thing that we do. I might say, um, go on the internet and find recent topics for my niche to create a podcast. Uh, in fact, that's what I'm going to do next. All right. So I typed in and hopefully we'll, this will be done working in, in a minute. I said, go to the internet and find recent topics about affiliate marketing and create a podcast outline. So as soon as it's done with our outline for the basketball game. I'm gonna ask it to go to the internet and find recent topics and see what happens. And this could actually make our content creation much easier, much better. So, so far we've got, uh, sure, here's a sample outline for a podcast episode on the basketball games played on May 19th. Introduction, game one recap, game two recap. I don't like that it thinks that the Los Angeles Lakers game was played yesterday instead of two days ago. Comparative analysis, key takeaways, listener interaction. Okay, so this is really, I mean, kind of general. I would hopefully like to see it talk about some of the things that happened within the game, but that might be asking too much. Okay, so, you know, this is a decent outline. It's not great, it's not spectacular, but it's something that could help you get started if you're stuck. If creating an outline is taking up too much brain power, this could be a, a good way to get started. So the final one that I'm gonna ask it today is to go back to the internet and find recent topics about affiliate marketing and create a podcast outline. Or maybe we'll do create a YouTube outline create a YouTube outline and see what it says. Okay, so it, good. So it was able to take my my sentence, realize that I need to go to the internet, and it's hopefully gonna pull down a few different recent topics. The search that it used is called Recent Topics in Affiliate Marketing 2023, very good. I'm sorry, but it seems currently experiencing difficulties. Uh, so we're gonna have to, I can help create an outline for a YouTube video on affiliate marketing based on knowledge I have until 2021. This is the one time where my chat GPT struggles when I'm trying to create a YouTube video. I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna refresh this one more time. I'm going to paste that in just like that and hopefully we'll be able to get some, some information. And this is what I was alluding to a little bit before. By the time you get chat GPT for good and calibrated, usually you'll run into your 25 post limit. Okay, so this one, apparently it's receiving a technical issue. It is not going to help us out it, with this question. We have good enough information to go off of when it comes to how well it is able to see most recent information. So overall, I like the video. I'm, I'm going to spend more time digging in and finding all of the different plugins. Like I mentioned before, there are a million plugins that you've got to go over and find. And so I think that that takes a long time. 
especially if you're not really sure what you're going to use it for or how you're going to use it. This probably is something that's going to iterate and get better over time. Hopefully too, they'll come out with kind of like a, a white paper or something along those lines that gives us uh, maybe a video. A video would be better to tell us the use, best use cases for each of these. Watch this video next because YouTube says that it will help you grow your online business.